that uh, that our coffee is quite famous in Denmark. Absolutely, yeah. I think your coffee is famous uh, everywhere around the world, basically. <laughs> but it's true that uh, you know if you go into you know in Copenhagen, like in many other uh, big capitals, everybody seems to be a barista these days, and it's become very fashionable to be a barista. So when you walk around Copenhagen, you will find small coffee shops uh, in, in almost on every corner. And uh, and today, of course, the trend is. Um, very specific uh, origins of coffee, so you get your sort of very specific coffee one from one part of Java, and then you can try a different sort. But you're right, coffee is uh, is a big brand for uh, for Indonesia, also in Denmark. Uh, is it true that Northern European drinks coffee a lot? Uh, absolutely. Now I, I have to admit that I'm not the biggest coffee drinker myself. Uh, I like my espressos uh, after um, after a meal, but if you go into an office in Denmark you will see um, uh, a lot of coffee mugs going around and, and a lot of Danes will get uh, three, four, five, six mugs of coffee on a daily basis just to get through the, uh, the working day. So absolutely. How much of it comes from Indonesia, I don't know, but my guess would be quite a lot of it. And I also heard that Northern Europeans and also Denmark didn't, didn't really like take out cups. Well, I, I, think, I think that's right, but, but the takeaway culture is certainly also hitting Copenhagen and, you know, coffee shops, uh, whether it's one or the other, uh, I think they've been quite successful in also putting coffee into a, a temporary paper cup and, and letting people bring it along. So, uh, but, but I think you're right in the sense that people enjoy sitting around a table uh, over a, a real cup of coffee in, in China. Uh, rather than in a, in a plastic cup. <laughs> I think it, it will also contribute to the happiness. <laughs> <laughs> the coffee or the paper cup? Coffee, <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine um, running around with paper cups and like, uh, you'll burn your tongue and everything. Perhaps, perhaps you, you're onto something. Perhaps it's our high intake of Javanese coffee that makes us so happy. I mean, perhaps that's the secret be behind our <laughs> happiness. <laughs> Like uh, for example, I, I, forgot, I forgot what's the brand, what was the Danish brand, but there's this uh, certain roasters. Uh, I think it's called the uh, Reykjavik roasters from Iceland. is is very famous in here. It's, it's very expensive in here. Um, but, uh, but basically, uh, every baristas, every coffee shop owners in here would say that North European roasters are some of the best. Yeah, and when they got their hand on limited packages, yeah. they would like sell it for like a hundred thousand rupiah per cup. My God! Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> perhaps I should make, make an investment into uh, roasting coffee. Uh, it sounds like a good business model. Also, also goes without saying that uh, the water quality yeah. in Denmark is better yeah. than Indonesia. That's why the car, the, the, the result of the coffee is somewhat different. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think the water quality plays a role. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah.